Hello my scrubby friends, a big welcome to my YouTube channel again today. It's Melinda Sweetman here with you with my next share for cut two. Uh, in today's video I am showing you how to use one cut file um, using both the intended cut file and the negative pieces. So here is the cut file. Um, I've cut that on matte gold cardstock uh, and I am um, I'm going to mix rainbows with cut files and Christmas to create a couple of fun uh, 5x7 Christmas cards. So I have started by, this is some um, Nina Solar White cardstock uh, and I have traced roughly around the edge of that cut file because I want to back it with, um, I want to back the cut file with a rainbow. So I'm pulling out my Distress Oxides. I've got a piece of scrap paper there just to uh, clean the brushes off a little bit as I'm working, move everything over, and I'm working on my waffle flower grip mat here. These things are fabulous, I love them so much. So I'm starting uh, with, this is Sun Sugar, and I am just going to do a little bit of each colour all the way across. I've left all of the blending in for this particular card for you. And so you will see that I go from one colour to the next and then I go back to the first colour so that I get a nice blend. Uh, the orange here is dried marigold. You can see I've gone back to the pink. And then the next one is my yellow, which is squeeze, no, it's not squeeze lemonade. It is fossilised amber, I think. And then back to the dried marigold. So I'm just going to keep doing that process until this whole piece is covered. I you can't see the pencil lines on here, I don't think, um, but they are definitely there and it gives me a good idea of how much I need to cover. So, yes. Um, I was chatting to someone at work the other day and, and mentioned something about rainbows and Christmas cards and they were like, what? Rainbows and Christmas cards? I'm like, well, yes, rainbow belongs with everything, doesn't it? Um, and they were like, um, nope. I'm like, yes. And they're like, no, traditional, traditional colours. I'm like, no, rainbow. Tell me, are you a traditional, um, traditional Christmas colours, rainbow Christmas colours, or some other um, Christmas, like uh, some other colour combination for Christmas? I have surprised myself this year. I'm slowly working my way through December daily, and I am going with a really traditional Christmas colour palette, which is really bizarre. It is, um, I'm using Simple Stories collection, uh, red, green, uh, black, cream. That's pretty much the colour scheme, you know, with Santas and candy canes and yeah. So I surprised myself a lot with that, but that's okay. I fell in love with the collection and I just embraced it. I'm using the Tis the Season collection. So yes. Um, are you doing a December daily and what supplies are you using? Traditional colours, another colour scheme or rainbow or not? I'd love to hear. So you can see I'm just working my way through the rainbow here. I did change out a couple of colours as I went just to get the right kind of colours that I was after. Um, so I'm using peacock feathers here and then um, the blue that I used is, um, I can't remember the names. If you if you want to know the names, leave me a comment and I will let you know. Uh, I may even remember to put them in the description box for you below. That's Crack Pistachio. Um, and then Fossilised Amber. I love this colour, it's so fun. Um, so yeah, I'm just going back and forward with each of the colours until I'm happy with the blend. Dried marigold again. I am working on some, like I said, 5 by 7 cards. And I have started with a card front that is craft cardstock that I have stamped with some white pigment ink with a background text Christmas stamp. I did have a whole different intention of what I, how I was going to create these cards, but my cameo decided it wasn't going to play nice, so I completely changed what I was doing. Um, and I'm really, really happy with the cards that I ended up with. They're so fun. So you can see, I'm just making sure that's going to um, 
sit right so I get all the colours of the rainbow. Yes, all of the colours. This is my new bow deluxe adhesive to stick that down. Making sure I remove any excess glue that squelches out. I didn't use very much, but it still squelched out. Love the way this is looking. Um, I have got this mist. It is called Sparkle. It's actually like clear and it's got just sparkle in the bottle, like shimmer powder stuff. It's beautiful. I love it. Uh, it was recommended to me in place of. Um, you know the shimmer brushes you can get? I forgot mine uh, and someone suggested this for me. So thank you, Suzanne, for that. Um, it's got multiple uses. I use it to brush onto things and then I can use it for splatters and just adding shine. It's great. So that is the basic design of that card there that I'm working on. You can see I've got a doily there that I'm going to pop over the top. And I'm going to pop this one up with some foam tape. Uh, I don't leave this process in for you, it is not fun to watch. I just left a little bit in. I'm going to stick down my doily. Make sure that's in the right place because, you know, these things need to be perfect. Uh, and then I'm going to stick down my cut file. I'm really happy with how, the, um, how this turned out in the end. It looks really great. Again, I'm not going to make you watch all that. It's not fun. All right, so I'm also stash diving for this for these two cards. This is one of the Vicky Bruton collections from I think last year, maybe the year before. I can't remember. Uh, I had a few words left over, but I thought the black and white, the word wishes, worked perfectly here. And then I uh, jumped into my card making stash and pulled out this little sentiment strip. It says peace and joy. I'm going to pop that one up, uh, and then once I mount this onto a card base. This card is done. Actually, that's not true. Off camera, I'm going to add some matte gold pearls to that one. They're from Pink Fresh, Pink Fresh Studio. Uh, what I've got here is my next card. So this is uh, another 5x7 card base. And what I'm playing with here is masking paper. I wanted to do my ink blending straight onto the card front, but I didn't want to get a big mess onto the back of the card. So I have cut a piece of masking paper to the right size and I've stuck it onto the back and I will remove that at once I'm finished the card. And I have a nice clean back of my card, which is awesome. Not necessarily um, super important, but I know what I'm like and I get mess everywhere. So... I just thought I would avoid that as best I could. Again, I'm going in with the same colours. I am not going to leave my whole process in for you because you've already watched me ink blending. The handy thing with this strip mat is the way that I've got it set up right there, I can see straight through to my glass mat, which shows me about where to blend each colour, like how far each colour should be blended onto. I know I've got seven colours. My card front is seven inches. I was like, that's handy. So I'm just kind of going a little bit above and a little bit below that inch line. And here is my finished blended rainbow panel. I love it. It's so pretty. Um, I did leave this in just so you could see how I clean it. I use my stamp cleaner um, and a cloth. Wipe that down. See my off and get back to it. So that is my card front all done, my little splatter box that I've got here and then some more sprinkles because it's just too pretty and I love it. I love how it reacts with the uh, oxide inks. Pop that one aside to dry and here is um, the negative pieces from that cut file. You can see in the background there I do have the, you can see that piece is cut from craft coloured cardstock with the same text stamping that is on the other card. This was one of my designs that didn't work the way that I had intended but I did get this cut from it so I'm really happy with that. Uh, sitting just above my glass mat here I had some more of these poinsettias and leaves from the Tracy Reed Festive Collection so I thought I would play with those um, and I really love the way this card comes together too. Again, I don't make you watch the painfulness of me playing with 
leaves and moving them around 10,000 times for them to be stuck to where they started. But you can see I'm building all of that on my glass mat here while my card dries. I'm going to bring that back in and start sticking everything down. And I am going to start with, so I've stuck all of the florals to the cut file. Uh, I figured it was easier to kind of go from the top down rather than moving everything and trying to get it back in the right place. Sorry for my head. There we go. I love how that looks. Um, and I'm going to drop, drop back in with a bit of a live voiceover in just a minute. I'm not sure why this didn't focus properly, but it didn't. Um, so I'm going to drop back in with uh, a live update on like the finishing touches that I added. As always, thanks so much for choosing to spend your scrappy time with me. And I shall leave you um, now. Have a fantastic scrappy day, my friends. All right, so in the last video, these were not finished cards, and apparently now they are. I don't know what happened. I forgot to press record, I think. Uh, so this is this one all finished. I've added in, I, th I think I recorded that, but I can't really remember. I did go ahead and stamp some more craft cardstock, and um, I stamped that with my Unicorn White Pigment Ink, and then heat embossed it with white... Um, embossing powder and I've just trimmed that down to fit on the inside there and that is that card finished and then this one um, I'm not sure exactly how much the process I recorded so these are all printables from Tracy Reed designs from the festive collection and then I've added in my my little um, gems here these ones are pink for a studio as well and then on the inside I've done the exact same thing and I've added in another of the poinsettias and some le leaves and that is my other card finished now I think I showed in the making of this one that I had put the um the paper on the back the masking paper so that I didn't get anything on the back I've got a couple of little sticky spots here that I can just get off with um my adhesive eraser but the back is nice and clean the front is beautiful and colourful, and I love how this one turned out. So they're both super fun. They are 5 by 7 photos. Uh, they're not photos. They're cards. So, yeah, if you have any questions, make sure you drop them below. As always, thank you so much for choosing to spend your scrappy time with me. Um, enjoy the close-ups, and I will see you in my next process video.